Whoops. Hello, Facebook, YouTube. I know I'm in the dark, but I will get in the light. I will get in the light. I will. There I go. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about, you know, uh, phew. Hello, how are you doing? Like your cross. Um, I'm going to talk to you about gaining weight, losing weight. It's the only thing I can come up with, y'all. Gaining weight, losing weight. Wow. You know, people uh, don't understand the reality of what, you know, the Hebrew is saying, you know, 12, you know, lay aside every weight. And they're not understanding that spiritual reality, you know, to an degree, you know, they're not people I... I, I see because you know the thing is they don't understand that sin just like uh, any sugar or whatever uh, things that fat stuff that people like to eat or you know with cholesterol and preservatives how you doing sir you know cholesterols and stuff like that that, that has stuff that will produce excess weight it has fat in it you know and it's like they're not aware people are not becoming aware over that reality of weight that is coming upon them when they commit sin you know a weight is being placed upon you that you know that is going to you going to feel the weight you know what I'm saying it like it's like this when people like okay they sin they do something wrong and then all of a sudden a bad situation happened when they start getting angry and mad and frustrated and upset about something and upset about this and or getting mad and angry and frustrated about not something just just feeling mad and angry and frustrated you know what i'm saying feeling what's the word weighed down by something you know when you when something is aggravating you, something's bothering you, something is just getting on your nerves and you don't see nothing, you know, you wondering what it is, you you you, you kind of put it with this problem. Sometimes problems get on your nerves, sometimes, you know, situations, circumstances in life get on your nerves. But you know, what is it? You know, what what is why am I so angry and why I feel so upset and I feel like I wanna get more upset right now? That's called that weight that uh, is in Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? 12. That's that weight that you don't understand. That is spiritual. That, you know, you are gaining weight every time you get angry. You're gaining weight. And you gain the weight and you don't understand that, guess what? When you carry weight, you know, it starts wearing on your body wearing on your muscles wearing you you every time you do something if you feel weight i don't feel like doing the simple stuff that i usually do that feels simple i don't feel like doing this i don't feel like doing that i don't feel like it because that's that weight that spiritual weight you could be skinny it's i don't know what but when you got that spiritual weight on you you're not going to feel like doing anything for anybody whatsoever and you know people love now it's a common thing for people to keep weight upon them you know and guess what they do uh oh guess what terrible thing they do to me it's terrible to me they try to take some medicine uh for the weight you know and uh oh you know there's a hello how you doing you know, they take medicine for this weight. They got a headache. And their headache is hurting. You know, and they want, you know, it came out of nowhere. But really, all that stuff, oh, wh where that headache came from? Hmm. Where did that stress came from? Where did that, you know, aggravating pain start coming from? It could be coming from that spiritual weight that you're carrying on. And that you're worried about this, worry about that. One of the 
uh, popular uh, access fat that spiritual access fat people don't mind carrying. You know, they they would like to keep this stuff on them. Hello, how y'all doing? Y'all have a wonderful day. And the thing is, this weight and this weight that everything is not going your way. You know, one of the most popular weight that people love to gain. Things are not going my way. What's wrong with this earth? Why this earth won't just follow my rules in life? And why won't people do what I think they should do when they make their decisions so they don't get on my nerves, you know? How you doing, sir? All right, we are, they're in there? Biden? Mm. All right, man, enjoy yourself. You know, where, where, where is uh, why people are not doing things according to normal, you know, things? You know, why the world is not normal? Why people won't be happy? Why people won't be loving, make good decision people? And, you know, why they don't have to find somebody to get on my nerves some kind of way? Those people are going to always be heavyweights. Yes, y'all going to be heavyweight. Uh... Uh, people that gonna keep weight because if you're not living in reality you're not really living to me because living is to have life and life more abundantly happy you know joy you know peace you know gentleness long suffering meekness temporary to me I call that living true living but if you you know not accepting the reality of this world that this world you know has negative things and negative people that make bad decisions and bad choices and you know do outrageous lannish things you know if you don't got that reality you know from your view you know, you're gonna always be a heavyweight and you're gonna be weighed down by the every world problem situation that goes on around you yeah you're gonna always carry weight but here's the reality you know what I'm saying you you got if you want to stop gaining weight what happens you have to get this thing called first of all truth <laughs> yeah I know y'all know I would say joy yeah not yet because here's the thing the truth is because truth is reality truth is reality that you recognize the the world you live in and recognize that there's negative things out there and people are not going to do things your way you have to realize there's that word realize that bad things are happening in the world but you're gonna need to ask God for <laughs> what's that W popular word wisdom ask God for wisdom to try to handle the situations and circumstances that are going on in your life to get understanding to see things right so you don't feel like you have to put on so much weight of worrying about this and worrying about that and things have to you know don't I mean things don't have to line up you know things ain't going to line up the way you want it to line up so you have that understanding so you're prepared to make the proper decisions and situations that you will avoid getting angry and mad and frustrated and feeling bad and getting weighed down you know and that's how it's supposed to happen you know you can't just think that you're going to things are going to just work out with somebody going to say something nice to me today Hello, Ida. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to post to speak to me and make me feel good, and there's no such thing as problems. How y'all doing? Have a wonderful day. And, you know, that's the thing. But, you know, it's something you got to realize, and only through divine understanding you can realize that, that you start perceiving wisdom, and you start getting wisdom, and wisdom helps you see what you're supposed to see, and you start to see that you need joy, see that you need love, See that you need God. Huh? Yeah. See that you need Jesus Christ. See that you need it. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you know, something that, you know, hello, how you doing? It's not something that, you know, you, you know, you're not sure what you need. You see what you need. You realize what you need and you will get more of him. And you will start understanding when the understand you the when you understand that you need God more and more, you will understand that it's necessary that you have to get rid of some weight in your life, weight in your spirit, you know what I'm saying? And you start that you start wanting to get rid of things that are taking away from your life. Yes. When you get weighed down, you're wearing your life out. You're wearing your heart out. You're wearing your mind out. You know? And <laughs>
bad things start to, you know, negative things start treating, taking away from you. You wonder why you don't feel like doing anything no more. You don't like people no more. You don't like life no more. You don't like this and you don't like that. You no, know, it's because you, you know, put on weight, you know, and think that, you know, this weight is not as good to carry around because, oh, everybody loves carrying weight. And if everybody else loves carrying weight, I should be follow everybody, you know, and be have a chip on my shoulder, be angry and mad all the time at the world and what's going on there. No, every a lot of people are dying. I don't know if you noticed that lately. A lot of graves out there. A lot of people dying, you know. And I, I think maybe because of that, carrying the weight could be the you know reason of dying because you know because it says that you know, lay aside every weight in a sin, and I know that the wages of sin is death, you know, and it, it, it's, it will get you closer, you know, to death if you keep carrying this weight, you know. Just want to just help you out because, I mean, if you want life, if you truly want life in the world you live in, the life and life more abundantly that Jesus Christ died for, you will start to understand that you need to lay aside every weight. So the thing is, Talk to God and, you know, say, Lord, you know, I know that I got this issue going on here. And the Lord, I know I got, Lord, teach me to give me the ability to lay aside every weight so I can, you know, start living life the way I'm supposed to. Not for just the sake of myself, but for the sake of others around me that I love, that I want to spend time with and care about and help them succeed in life and be an encourager of the other people. Lord, to get the weight out from me so I can help have freedom to become a loving person. Because that's what happens when you get the weight off. You're free to love. You're free to have joy. You're free to have peace. You're free to have everything that God has promised us in the beginning because he blew his breath in us and we became a living soul. So therefore, we need God to really live life lovely and truly lovely and not lustly. Mm. Yeah, understand that. So that's the message. I hope you got the message. I hope this message bless your heart. I hope it start laying, losing weight. Start, stop gaining weight and start losing weight for the sake of not only your soul, but the sake of other people's souls, all right? To God be the glory to Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Lose the weight!